Hi everybody, this is Mr. Fowler, and You're welcome no to Podcast 1.3, where I'm going to teach you how to do Average Atomic Mass. Now, this is Average Atomic Mass, You're which is different from Atomic sound. Number. You may and that's about it. Um, it should be quick one, let's hope. I shouldn't say that, because then you look at the time, and hopefully this is under 35 minutes. I think it is. So let's see. Oops. So, average atomic mass is the weighted average of the different isotopes. So it's the weighted average. So that means that the percentage matters. Percent matters. And when you see it, you're not going to be fooled by this in any way at all. So isotopes have different masses due to different number of neutrons. So remember, this is one isotope of nitrogen, and it would have eight neutrons. And we spent a lot of time doing that. And this is the other isotope of nitrogen, and it has seven neutrons. So what's the average? You might think, oh, the average of it, the mass is 15 and 14, the average would be 14 and a half, but it's not. See how most of it's nitrogen 14? So the average is 14. Crazy, isn't it? All right, so the formula is percentage one, M1, plus percentage two, M2, equals average mass. You're going to use this one a lot. Write it down, underline it. You should have under, written down, underlined all this stuff. Draw an arrow at it. You're going to use this forever. This dot, dot, dot means I could have um, many isotopes. So we'll start right here. Um, I think, you know, 82 protons would be, 82P is protons, then you have neutrons and all the stuff that goes with that. The four isotopes of lead are shown above, each with its percent by mass abundance and the composition in its nucleus. Um, except for its percent by mass is not showing up. That's interesting. So let me go ahead and make up numbers. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so that's quite disappointing that I steal this from my old stuff. A2 plus is, so we'll call this 5.1%. Um, we'll call this 90.0%. We'll call this 1.1%, and we'll call this, let's figure out what we got left, 100 minus 90 minus 5.1 minus 1.1, we'll call this 3.8%, okay? So you should be given those numbers. I don't know why I got chopped out of this, but um, let's show you how to do this, okay? So remember, this is the percentage times the mass, right? Percent times the mass. So I've got my percentages here but I need my mass. Oh, the other thing I'm gonna say, star, 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 decimal form of percentages. Okay. So um, to find the masses, remember mass is protons plus neutrons. So 82 plus 122 is 204. And 82 plus 124 is 206. And 82 plus 125, I should be able to do this without a calculator once I know one of them, is 207. And 82 plus 126 is 208. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is just use this equation. So percentage 1, M1, oops, plus percentage 2, M2, plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. So here, my first percentage is 5.1. I have to use the decimal form. 0.051, right? I move the decimal two places, times 204, plus 0.9 times 206. And notice how that's going to be the big, the big dog right here. So our answer should be really close to that. And then plus 0.011, that's 1%, moving the decimal two places. 207, and then plus 0.038 times 208, and then throw in my equal sign. So here we go. See if my calculator will do me right. I'm going to use parentheses here. Uh, quantity 0.051 times 204, close parentheses, plus parentheses 0.9 times 206, close parentheses, plus parentheses, 0.011 times 207, close parentheses, plus parentheses, 0.038 times 208, close parentheses, enter, and I get 
0.99. And your units for this are going to be grams per mole. Another acceptable unit, and I don't care which one you use, is 205.99 um, AMU. That's an atomic mass unit. Either one of those are good. That's it. You plug them in, decimal formula percent times the mass, add them up. Decimal formula percent, add them up. Now, in sad little reality here, oops, I just scribbled something out when I tried to highlight it. In sad little reality here, the numbers of seven, like saying that the lead was 207 or um, 208, they're really decimalized or they're measured a little better than that. So we're gonna do the same thing here, but we have a little bit of decimal fun. Lithium has two naturally occurring isotopes. Lithium six, you'd think would weigh exactly six, but it has a mass of 6.015. Lithium seven doesn't weigh exactly seven, 7.016. The atomic mass of lithium is 6.91. What is the percentage of naturally occurring lithium-7? Oh my goodness, I didn't want to do this one, but I think I will. I will not do this one. This is what we get to do in class. This is your bonus question if you can do it. So Mimi, do you hear me? Mimi, you want a challenge here. Mimi, the gauntlet is thrown down. Boom. <laughs> Give it to me, Mimi. Um, my uh, suggestion to you is a system of equations. where you use um, percent plus percent equals 100, and then this equation up here. I think you can get it. We'll talk about it in class. What is the atomic mass of an element, and how does it differ from the mass number? So the atomic mass is um, the, ma well, first of all, the atomic mass of an element is the average mass. Okay, so imagine if I said, all right, Guess what, Ella? Your grade is the average grade of the class. Ella might be really happy with that if she's below average, but she's not. Ella has had a 97% or more in every science class she's ever taken, and now Ella gets the average, so she's bummed. The mass number is the mass of one particular I'm going to call it an isotope instead of an atom. And one particular isotope. That would be like Ella's real grade. So Ella really has a 97%. Class average is 86. And Ella doesn't want to be the average. right? It's useful to know the class average is 86. And it's useful for Ella to know she has a 97. But they're different. Notice how this is one average mass of all. By the way, this average mass of an element is on the periodic table. And it's found, again, by our percentage 1, M1, plus percentage 2, M2, dot, 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 equals. Okay? How is the mass number found? If I have X 100 over 50, the mass number is the top number. Or it could be axiom dash 100, and there it is. All right. Imagine you're standing on top of A, singular, uh, boron-11 nucleus. Describe the numbers and kinds of subatomic particles to be looking down into the nucleus. Okay, so here's my boron-11. So it weighs 11. So boron, my periodic table tells me that boron is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boron from my periodic table has 5 protons. So if boron has 5 protons, 11 minus 5 equals 6. Boron has 6 neutrons. Okay. Describe the numbers and kinds of subatomic particles you see looking down into the nucleus. Here's me, five protons, six neutrons, stand tall, man. And those you would see looking down into the nucleus, boom. Describe the numbers and kinds of subatomic particles you would see looking down into the nucleus, and those you would see looking down into the nucleus, okay? And those you would see looking out from the nucleus. So as I look out, remember there's rings of electrons? I would have two electrons, because I'm going to have five, and then three electrons. So I would see five electrons outside of nucleus. Now, notice how I didn't pay any attention at all to the average atomic mass of boron. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. I suppose I should look at it. I hope it's not 11, but I think it is. Average mass of boron is 10.81. So notice I don't see 10.81 anywhere on here, because I'm looking at one of them. So 
One last little dude, chlorine 35 is whoops, uh, 75% of all chlorine. Chlorine 37 is 25% of all chlorine. Find average mass. So just to do one more, I think we could do it. Um, percent one, M1, plus percent two, M2, equals mass. So percent one, 0.75, M1, 35, plus percent two, 25, M2, 37. Bust out my calculator on parentheses, 0.75 times 35, parentheses, plus parentheses, 25, oops, not 25, 0.25, point 0.25 point times 37, close parentheses, and I get 35.5 AMU, which by the way, is what it says on the periodic table, and good teachers should have that be true. All's the time. Toodles.